Meantime, heavy duty protocols are in place at De La Salle Collegiate High School over in Warren. As students return this week, the state has allowed individual schools to come up with their own plans. And De La Salle is going with in person learning. As Amara McDonald reports, before the students enter the building, they have an app to fill out. The temperature will come right on the floor. It sure did. Yeah. Director of Advancement Greg Essler taking us through what the students will go through as they enter. Thermographic cameras will scan them, anybody with a high temp, and an alarm sounds. If the student does have a high temperature, we take them immediately to the isolation room where there's a medical person on staff throughout the whole school day. De La Salle spent the summer consulting doctors and logistics experts on how to make this work. For starters, freshmen and sophomores will enter a different door than juniors and seniors. They're only at their lockers twice a day to put in or take out their coat. We actually had a logistics expert come out and study the uh, traffic of students. So there'll be monitors to make sure that the boys are, uh, you know, not, uh, hanging out. Flow will be controlled. Classes are going to 80 minute blocks with assigned socially distant seating. So if a student does become sick, those around him can be easily quarantined. Masks are a must. Plastic shields are up. An EPA approved virus killing spray will clean everything down after each class. De La Salle is willing to share its 36 page plan with other schools. You see the state has left each individual school or district to make its own decisions. We've got over 800 school districts in the state of Michigan. They have unique challenges and unique opportunities, and that's why it can't be a one size fits all. These are decisions that have to be made at the local level. It's our Mara McDonald reporting, and again, the briefing from the governor tomorrow at 1.30.